Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. That's I am it. your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded yep, with yep. incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I this have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined Woo! the ticket this price should great. be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. This is off. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. Yeah. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. Ooh. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. You, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, get out of there! Let's see it! Ah, oh, look at that big guy! Oh, yeah. You look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, on. Do it, do it! Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey, sometimes he gets carried away. Let's freak more dancing girls. Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 I'm a master of apparition! Oh, oh my god! Uh, Bring out more the freaks! Dissipation. And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right! Oof! What the hell is I this? have mastered hypnosis! Telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this. Robio! Doing a nasty little pervert. What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show. <laughs> Not like that, you're not. I give up. <laughs> Amateurs. Oh. 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 Go follow your 
together. Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. I want my money back. Oh, take it easy. I want the show. Well, tiny people and right. tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny Ooh, village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. We want I more. shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster. You think we're a bunch of engineers? <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic Nobody salesman I fought, and my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy you among the molten no lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement. Do but something none better! Are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I, I will hand this Diddy Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using it's light and quick reflexes nonsense. spoken by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. Do more. To prove that these are indeed live rounds. If my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off. Bring somebody my head. out, Ben. Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I. The great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Christ. Oh, yeah. Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang boulder dads. Ah. Get out of here. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. 
In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? There's no one Worst man enough. show ever. Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, oh. I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, off, ready? Take aim. Oh, the sort of fight is too much. And fly. He's gonna knock his teeth down. is just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. No! <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in the lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Wonderful. Oh, incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You stink! He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, hello. Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. Don't get this with dancing girls. Water calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from. She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them, to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon 